Morning everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday morning. It's quite incredibly foggy, you can barely see town from where we are. Um, it's nice and warm though. What are we at? 7 degrees. Nearly 10 to 8. Um, I've started getting a connection message. So it appears that it doesn't like reconnecting for some reason on the head unit. It's asking me to put a cable in or repair, I don't know. It was connected yesterday fine on its own, today it, it doesn't want to do what it wants to do. So, come on you stupid thing, time to work. No. Anyway, it is Wednesday. Um, I've got lots to do. We've got, still got the rattle. Uh, Hyundai i10 coming in first thing. I think it's already there. I think it was dropped off last night. So that's having a full system. Um, Fascia kit, CarPlay, Android Auto, Pioneer 160. We've got uh, front speakers to do, sub and amp, basically a complete system from end to end and he's give me a price we'll work to a budget but he'll get a good stereo system out of it so that's today's task then uh i've got to get steve's vehicle his q7 we've got to add on a thing called an i think it's called the ssr4 which is like basically it's like a resistance it's supposed to simulate the standard speakers when you add amplifiers to oe systems so I had a word with Jazz, uh, not Jazz, sorry, I had a word with Lee yesterday um, regarding the amp. They found no fault with it, the Audison people. They've said there's nothing wrong with it. Clearly we have got a problem. Um, but they've asked me to add on this SSR thing to give it like a resistance. Um, now we have done this before with the T6.1 if you remember. Um, and that same thing kept cutting out on startup. So, there's, there's, a, there's a glitch, there's a problem between the system firing up, producing sound, and the head unit realising that something's wrong. Um, weirdly enough, if you put your foot on the uh, button, sorry, put your hand on the button and start the procedure of ignition, but don't put your foot on the brake, the car comes into ignition and we get sound when you then, 10, 10 seconds later, put your foot on the brake and start the car, we get music. If you rush it, as in jump in, foot on the brake, start the car, no music. Um, I went to see Rob yesterday, took the Q7 for a test drive. The start stop was off and on and off and on and it was working, we had sound. Um, and then I left it a little bit longer, probably 20 minutes, half an hour, went back in, started it up in a rush as you would do getting in a car and sure enough it, it produced no sound again. So got to try this SS thing just to say we've done it and then I can go back to Audison and go right this doesn't work either you know what's the deal where do we go from here because it's frustrating and I want Steve's a good guy he's a good customer and don't want him to have problems uh, so we'll we'll do that today um, as well as that I've got to pick up the soldering iron and continue to do the sign the Lotus sign but we're gonna get some breakfast get to work and I will come back to you in a bit See you soon. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Right then, everyone. First one's in, little high end eye. Got this kind of style face here we got replaced. Got to do a double din in there, Pioneer. Front speakers, do some upgrades there. And then we've got that Pioneer active 10 inch, 12 inch sub. And that's gonna go in the boot here. 298 frozen patties later. Uh, right then everyone. Let's just turn that down. Okay, so we've got new front speakers in this thing. New head unit and face kit. What was that? Something just fell over. One of my favorite active subs for the money. Little Pioneer Active 12. So amp built in, little red thing. The uh, TSW 300A 
if you want something cheap and naughty. It's all right, it's got some welly for something so tiny. But this one's done. It's got some beeline. Hey, check this out everyone. So we got that weird weather coming from the south at the minute and it's the sandstorm rain. Look at my car. I don't know whether you can pick that up on the, uh, the, the camera, but the sky has gone like a really dark orange. But the car is now covered in sand. This is shit all the way from Sahara. But look at it. I'm gonna have to wash this stuff off quick because <laughs> my car's just had a sand bath. Look at it. How crazy is that? Huh? Genuine Sahara sand, look. Bastards. I don't want to own a white car when it's raining sand. <laughs> Weird is that? It's a crazy world. Yeah, it's really red. You probably can't pick up on a GoPro, but it's mad. <sighs> right then everyone, so you join me in the boot of the Audi. So this is the thing I've been told to add, a USS 4. So what this basically is, it's this little thing here, which has powered source, positive and negative. We've got four channel input, four channel output. And what this is basically doing is it adds resistance to the circuit. So when the head unit turns on, it thinks that it's got a factory system connected, even though it doesn't. So this is supposed to fool it and hopefully keep the amp working or keep the head unit playing when it first starts up. Waterson have told me to add this, so we're gonna add it, see if it helps. Come back to you in a minute. Right, we've added the S4 resistor. Let's see, foot in, straight on, start it up, do we get sound? Before I got normal people and like that. Ooh. Let's see. I'm gonna go and get some lunch. I'm gonna borrow Steve's car, take it for a test. Stop, start, stop, start. See if it keeps working. To be fair, it worked first time yesterday and then it played silly buggers thereafter. So we're gonna give it a test tickle. In a minute, people. Right, just saying goodbye to a little Civic. He's doing his own uh, install. And unfortunately he managed to blow a power fuse, so we just found the problem, fixed it for him. So he's now sorted on his way. He'll be back for more stuff, I'm sure, in the future. Right, so how are we getting on with the box? So the port is cut. Um, smoky as hell in here. I filled the workshop full of smoke. Um, my router bits literally are on the limit of about an inch. 
So um, we've got it out. Obviously this is gonna be painted and the edges of this are gonna be covered in carpet anyway. We've still retained our little cutouts for our carpet, but there's our port. I rounded the edges of the box as well. So we've got some nice curved edges on the box, which will make the carpet flow and look really nice. And I'm just moving into Rob's sub. We've measured up the internal gap of what we need to put that sub in. And it's just over 13 and a half. So we're gonna make a 13 and a half hole, use my little templates for the edges. And then we're gonna cut out his hole, put the sub in it, put this in, seal the inside of it up. Um, I've murdered a smurf. We've got some um, poly foam for the inside of the box to distort the air wave. And, and yeah, screw it together, stick it, ready to carpet the thing, but we'll, We'll wire it, we'll put the sub in, we'll do the gluing and everything else, and then we'll test bump it and see what it's like. So I'm gonna crack on with this, I'll come back to you in a bit. <clears throat> right. Shh. That's what you call fitment. <laughs> no screws, nothing holding that up, other than measuring and a good cut. That's not bad, is it? Hey, eh? posh. So that's how our sub's gonna sit in the box. Obviously, this is port area here, so we wanna avoid that. Sub's gonna be off to one side, down there. Right, let's get gluing and a screwing and sealing. See you in a bit.
Right then guys, <clears throat> end of play for, oh, where are we at, Thursday? No, Wednesday, missing another day. Um, end of play for Wednesday. So uh, I've washed off Mr. Hara Chaser. I don't know whether you follow me on Instagram, but the car was covered. It was orange earlier. We had the, the rainstorm come up from um, the sort of south, southern hemisphere and it carried with it a load of sand from the Sahara and my car was orange earlier so I've washed all the uh, the sand off a few times today because we can't let that sit on the car because that'll kill it um, Steve's Q7 I've done exactly what they asked me to do put the US S4 in uh, hasn't helped at all stomach's still messing with it on startup initial startup it's like a spike and the amplifier is freaking out and not producing sound i don't think it's a stereo because we had the similar fault with the t6.1 and if you remember that i put the kicker amplifier in there we never had an issue so um i don't think it's the unit it's doing the same fault i think it is the amplifier that's is surging and it's not liking that initial startup if he's slow with his start button or sorry if he turns the start button on and then he's slow with his brake foot to start the car it, it doesn't have a problem it seems to be okay um so he's going to take it go to france do his rugby thing come back um and we will look into it and see what's what then um i'm just getting ready to pack up and shoot off uh haven't checked the diary don't know what we're doing tomorrow it's gonna be one of those we shall see um rob's box is built not finished but it's built i've been messing with uh the the wiring on it obviously getting the right ohm rating we're down to one ohm to the amp so it's got quite little resistance which means the amp can kind of merrily pound away uh, and the sub will take it and then we need to seal it and trim it so we're not not out of the woods yet but it's the majority of it the hard work is done um, and it's it's to the point where we were playing it today he came over from the parts place across the way uh, and even with the little amp that it's running off of it's probably barely 500 watts if that um we were shaking the roof like you could hear the tiles on the roof going so um it's it's going to be a beast so yeah it's going to be a beast that for sure so i'm just getting ready to go um boxes are done they're all there sitting and chilling Cars are in, they'll dry out tonight. Chase is clean finally, it's not orange anymore. Um, I'm shutting up waffling. I will see you bright and early for Thursday morning. Take care everyone. Have a good evening, see you soon, bye.